So if you saw that, or if there was the screen went black or something, but I just need that screenshot. Absorbed the shade cloak. Um. So now that we have the shade cloak, I wonder what happens if you chat. Cause do you know him? It appears to be protected in some sort of way. What if I get the 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 awoken genial and then attack him? Well, here's the shadow dash. As you can see, we can dash two things. And now we have the, an arcane egg. So this is shadow dash, and that's a normal dash. So the shadow dash has to recharge. As you can see, those black particles forming around me. That means it's recharging. Now, thanks to the Shadow Dash, we can now Shadow Dash through that to those types of gates and stuff. But what? It, but more importantly, what's over here is this. An imprint of an abyss given form. So we have a new journal entry, and that is for those tentacle thingies. Because you can't actually normally kill them. So thanks to that, we can now have that in the journal entry, just so we can. And uh, let's continue on back. Um, I think we just got caught from here, actually. Um, but now that we have uh, pretty much everything done in the Abyss for now, we're only missing one thing, and that is to get the King Soul Charm and then turn that into the Shade Soul Charm from being here. And that is the last thing, and that's all you really need. Uh, that's the only other thing we actually need from the Abyss. Oh, that's close. But the thing is, this Shadow Dash is going to make a lot of boss fights easier. And it's going to open up a bunch of new areas that were before closed. But either way, I'm going to um, platform my way up here. And what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. Do you see that? That's like a law of Hollow Knight. If you fall off like a tiny jump, you end up falling all the way to the very bottom. It's like a law. You know, like Murphy's Law? Murphy's Law of Hollow Knight? Uh, I'm trying to just concentrate more than I'm being quiet, because eh, if you fall off, you fall off all the way back down. So now, please don't shout at me in the comments that I missed some of these geomounds. I'll get back, I'll go back and get them in between episodes. What happens, if you're not using the gathering swarm, then they'll just fall down and then you'll have to go all the way back down and look through every single platform on the way down to try to find all of the geo that fell off and yeah i don't want to have to do that so i'm gonna come back in soon with the gathering swarm and we'll see oh it's hornet juvenile first it faced the void it ascends unchaste could it unite such vast darkness Love and she says hornet ghost i see you face the path of your birth now drape yourself and now drape yourself in the substance of its shadow though our strength is born of a similar source that part of you that crucial emptiness i do not share that's me that's what she's saying is i have made a void as you can see the blackness uh behind in the shell that's void hornet is not made of void and no 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 some people think hornet's void hornet's not void Hornet's waifu. I just wanted to point that out. As you can see right here, she's in this line of text. That's proof. And there's more proof. So you can look up why Hornet's not void. Um, but onwards. Funny then, that such darkness gives me hope. Within it, I see the chance of change. A difficult journey you would face, but a choice it can create. Prolong your world's, our world status or face the heart of its infection. So basically, the, the infection is created by the Radiance, which is the final boss of this game. So you have two op, and is getting stored, is currently stored in the Howl Knight. And our two choices are, one, to dream nail the Howl Knight and fight the Radiance, um, to end the infection uh, completely, the completely end the infection, 
Or the other thing we could do um, is we can just destroy the Hout Knight, who's corrupted because of the Radiance, and replace him as the new vessel. So those are the two upgrade, the two main options that we have. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm getting my setup ready for the Waskin Dream Boss to try to fight, 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 I don't know, I'm gonna fight it, okay? I'm just gonna destroy the boss, hopefully I can do it pretty early on. It is a fairly difficult boss, but I think I'm pretty ready, I'm pretty good at the game. I probably could buy more charm notches to make this easier, but not going to. Let's see if I can do this. I'll give it two tries, we'll say. I'll give it two tries. So if you didn't know, from here you'd normally have to like platform your way over here. Except watch, if you walk over off this platform, you can end up getting in here from the back side. And that's a free hit you get near the beginning. That's not fair, I'm in the corner. These floating balloon things. Yeah, they, they, I forgot to put on the thing. Yeah, I forgot to put on the, the charm that makes this work. The, what's it called? I can't remember, the, I forgot, wait, let me check real quick. Why can I not remember what it's called? The Defender's Crest. I need the Defender's Crest for this fight. Because the Defender's Crest makes you so those floating bubble thingies, those things don't actually, like, attack you. So, if you're wondering why I'm going down here, this is because, oh, uh, there's this thing where you can use the soul. You can remail him for soul right here. Um... Also, you can just attack up and kill him right here, so he won't be able to hit you here. You can just kill him and get some free soul. And Geo. Geo is less important, though. But now, uh, that we have that, I'm gonna go back to the bench, equip the Defender's Crest, and then we will... I'll see you guys back at the Loskin fight. Yes, so I can actually make this jump. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave that little blooper in. Where me trying to mess that jump up. See ya. So as you can see, I'm now in dreamland. That's what I call it. And we're gonna make our way into the fight. And yeah, attack him immediately. So you know, the smoke will hopefully deal with any of those flying guys that fuss by, unless I want to attack them for soul. What was that? Yeah, I hate when he interrupts your attack. Oh, that double hit was like good for damage, but bad because I can't get the heal. And in this game, heal is more important. I say and then mess up with my heal right there again. I'm getting pretty lucky with my double hits right here, so... Oh, really? Nope, we don't get the heal. Heal. No, the smoke! I had the smoke that was protecting me from the guy, but he still hit me. And I was about to get invincibility as well. <sighs> Sadness. Well, I'm gonna go get some more soul from that, from this guy over here, and then try again. Oh, this guy gives me soul. What if he was just close? If you're wondering, that guy can't. I killed him really immediately because he can't actually push this Malik. Because like, what can happen is this guy will get pushed, and then he'll just be standing right here and floating. It's kind of a weird glitch. Maybe I'll show you if I fail again or after I succeed. Um, but I'm gonna give it a couple more tries and I might uh, cut out a couple tries if it takes me too many, but I will defeat this boss. 
Right. Not the safe, third time of the charm. Let's go. No! You gotta keep trying. This time I'm trying to just like stay back and just use the balloons for soul and then just and then just do that to kill him. Oh, stop jumping. Whenever I'm in the corner, that's when I get hit. He's dead. Yes. That was my fourth try. If I cut out any of them. Pretty good. Let's go. Hello. Now, I am going to talk to him. So you can see now the, the one on the ground is the broken vessel. And the one on the top is the one who, is who he was before he was broken. And except he's like, he looks down and then he gives, gives me your dream essence. How much do I get for that? 400? That's a lot. I'll take that. That's at least two rewards from this year. Nice. All right, well, I will meet you guys at this year to claim my reward, not die on the way. And then after that, um, I think we'll, uh, we'll probably end the video there unless we have something to do. Like, I think she gives you a try. Maybe you should check up on if Salubra has more notches to sauce. But after that, that's going to be it. Uh, stick around um, to see what rewards we get, if you'd like, or you could just click off now. But either way, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you at Salubra. Oops. <coughs> I think I'm going to leave that in. <laughs> And just like that, we are at the seer. So listen to him. 
How good will you return? Let me have a look at the dream name. Ah, 500 essence. You're a master in the making. Well done, well done. I have a small reward for you. Uh, plucked from my, my most precious memories, this triangle will bring you and the dream nail closer together still. The secrets of this kingdom won't be able to hide from you any longer. Take it and return when you have it. collected 700 essence. More gifts await you. you get the dream with a charm. And so you already have 700 essence. I wonder why the dreamers are working you, whether the dreamers are watching you as you work or even that old king. That lock of theirs, desperate but very clever. I wonder how long they thought they could hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history grows, goes, I grow numb of, to its reputations. Take the, that gift and continue collecting essence. You have 900. When you have 900, come back and visit me. Uh -huh. Ooh, a match. Oh, a vest fragment. I'll take that. Uh -huh. Thank you. And I'm going to be staying away from Spirit's Blade. What you can do is you can dream on the people and they'll, you know, they'll get like, the, the girl will get mad at you, the protector will get mad at you, and you'll, and you'll have to fight, not really fight her, you just have to avoid her as you keep dream nailing the people, but that's kind of it for that. And I don't know, let's get a couple more, Slubit would probably sell the charm notch, I'm pretty sure I have more than enough Geo to buy it, to buy the charm notch, and... I am going to rest at the bank because there's a possibility that I might die. Hopefully not, but might. I think I'm actually, I think I'm using the, yeah, I am using strength. Wait, I should be using long help. I'm still using Spring Master and Smoking. I can't remember what it's called. It's a Defender's Cat. I need to remember to keep better track. Uh, anyway, um, let's, um, I'm going to make my way to Saluba, and if anything funny happens, I'll, I'll you guys in, but probably not. Nope. How did you survive? I'm pretty sure it blasted you in the face, and you're at one hit kill, so, hmm. No, actually, earlier when I was here, there was a glitch where, like, when I killed one of them, two of them were, like, there, but they were, like, technically, the game thought they weren't there. You understand what I mean by that? Like, there were two things that were there, but they didn't actually attack me. Or anything. I wanna see how many of these I can get, actually. That may be a bit interesting. I have the Shadow Dash, so I could Shadow Dash through them like that. Um, and let's see how much, how much, how many of them they birth. I think they're done. Let's see if I can gather them all up. I'm gonna try to take a bit of damage to get them up over here. Come on, come on. And fire! Oh, that was extremely sad. Oh, I might die. There's so many of them! <laughs> that was funny. I'm gonna stay at one health just to keep you guys on the edge. If you guys are watching, maybe I'll die. Never know. Except I won't, because the vent is right here. <laughs> right, let's see what Saluber has to say to us. Ooh. Oh, we can buy the last one. Alright, let's just buy that real quick. This is my blessing. This is a special item for those who love charms as much as I do. Once you own 40 charms, I'll gladly sell it to you. You only need 14 more. Keep collecting. So, 14 charms. So I have an extra time now, which means I can now put the m marker fight on here instead. Um, and yeah, so now I have an extra long nail. But I just want to show you a couple, a couple cool things, interactions you could do with charms. If you put on the fluke nest, here's what it does. It you get a bunch of tiny baby flukes. Now the charm stone, which makes the spells bigger, will make those flukes bigger, as you can see. Now. If you add on to that, I'm going to put the spell to cost less soul so I can do it more. If you put the Defender's Crest on, something different happens to those flukes. So watch. See that huge explosion? Huge smoke explosion. Isn't that cool? Well, that's all for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like. It's not a hard thing to do. It really helps out. Subscribe if, subscribe if you enjoy the content. 
and Sora27 out. Peace. <laughs>